Well, hello there, Ian South Oz here. Now, I've finally gone and got the Sundowner seat and I've fitted it to the Softail Deluxe. So let's have a look at the two seats and then I'll take it for a ride. I haven't ridden it yet with the uh, Sundowner seat. I'll take it for its first ride and I'll give you my comments on what I think of it. Okay, so let's move a little bit closer and have a look at the two seats side by side. Okay, so this seat here is the original Softail seat um, off the Deluxe single seat. If I move across to the right and you look at the Sundowner seat, you can see it's higher in the backrest area. So up here, basically, it's a um, it's sort of scalloped a lot more. I'll move across to this one here. This one's very, very sort of. Um, just get some focus there. It's very shallow, and you see how that one's nice and deep. What I've also found is that this padding it actually is softer but thicker, so you're going to fall into the seat more. Now if I take you around to have a look at the back of the seat, you'll get the idea of the thickness of the two. So we'll move around the back. Now have a look at this. The one on the screen now is the original soft tail seat. And you can see down here, you know, it's probably, might be two inches thick if you're lucky. And it's sort of really, really sort of um, scallops out here. Now if we move across to the sundowner seat, you can see the difference there. I mean, if I turn this one around a bit, I'll turn that one around a bit. Right, there's the soft tail. Have a look at the sundown, how much thicker it is at the back there. And it's constant all the way around. So all the way around here is fairly constant. And that, that is that thick compared to that. So it's almost double. In fact, it would be double. So that's the difference. And this, this is nice and soft and deep. So I think I'm onto a winner here. So um, let's take it for a spin and I'll give you my opinion. So stand by. Well, g'day, I'm back again. I'm out on the uh, Soft Hole Deluxe with the Sundowner seat. Tell you what, so far it feels pretty good. So I'm going to take it for a short lap and uh, see if I can notice the difference. I can already just by sitting on it at uh, 70 k's so what I've done to the deluxe so far it's got the stage one kit now all complete with the Bassani pipes I've put the windscreen on it I've put a uh, cruise control on it about a week ago and I now have the sundowner seat test riding it for the first time. Geez, I tell you what, it makes a difference over those bumps too. Yeah, hear the Bassani pipes in the background there. Sounding like a real Harley now, not like a sewing machine. But I tell you what, one of the things I, the problem I had with that uh, original seat I went on a run for an hour and my ass was killing me, I kid you not. And uh, I knew then that I had to do something about it. And I've been looking around and one of the guys at Adelaide Harley Davidson, one of the, uh, Scotty, one of the, the sales reps there, he's messed around with a lot of seats as well. And he recommended the Sundowner, he's got a single solo sundowner on his bike and he said they're the uh, bee's knees so I took his advice and as usual he was right this seat is feeling really really comfortable I 
reckon I could go a couple of hours, no problems with this. I'd go all day, but usually, usually when I'm on long trips, I stop about every hour and a half for gas anyway, or um, maybe two hours. Yeah, as I was saying, one of the one of the issues, apart from having a sore butt with the original seat, was when I accelerated. I felt I was sliding backwards a bit. There wasn't much back support. And if you um, look back at the start of the video, this one is much more scalloped and gives you a lot more back support. When I opened it up a bit back there, I didn't move an inch on this seat. And the other thing I was a bit worried about with this seat was that it might sit a bit higher and look too, too high above the windscreen. Well, when I measured it all in the shed, because I sunk down a bit more in the seat, the height was exactly the same. The, um, the distance to the foot controls was the same, nothing had changed, except that it's more comfortable. So, winner, winner, chicken dinner, I reckon. So it's definitely got my thumbs up. I don't regret paying the money for it. Now, let me tell you, they're not cheap. But you know, if you want quality, the simple fact is you gotta pay for it. And, uh, you know, you go through two or three seats trying to find the right one, you're better off paying a little bit extra money, getting a quality seat that someone's recommended to you, and uh, you'll never look back. And I'm telling you, this is a nice seat. Turn right here and head into the sun. bugger of a corner this one. We're around the Sandy Creek area which is not far from uh, where I live. Yeah, it's a nice little place, a lot of farms and hobby farms and things like that. Uh, you used to find a lot of gold up here to my left. There's some old gold diggings but it's all sort of heritage listed now so you can't get in there and uh, metal detect if you wanted to. I'm very impressed by the performance of this M8, um, particularly on the, the Deluxe being a lighter bike than the Ultra, you can notice a little bit of difference when you open it up. Oh yeah, can't wait till it's run in. about it for the sundown of sea. Ride safe everybody and if you don't ride a bike please enjoy the video and uh, there'll be some more videos coming your way soon. So this is Ian South Oz, please like and or subscribe and I'll uh, catch you soon.